Chris of CIA here today. Today's video is just me doing a bracket predictor actually on uh, the CDL website. As most of you guys know, I'm huge into the competitive scene. I play and I follow the scene very close. I've actually been in a fantasy league in Georgia season with just some friends of mine and it's been a fun time. But there's another event coming up this weekend is the Minnesota Rocker Home Series. Just launched on the CDL website. They have started making bracket builders where you can make bracket predictions for all of the events. So my video today is pretty much just me giving a commentary on how I think this bracket could potentially play out and what I think might happen. I'd be very surprised if this bracket was right, really just because there's so many competent teams in this event. You got Florida, Dallas, Minnesota, FaZe, and Huntsman all looking in this event, so this is a hard one to call, really. Alright, but either way, you got my expert inside opinion on the Minnesota Rocker Home Series, and you get to see my predictions being made live here. Alright, that's pretty much it for today's vid, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, here we are, guys. We're looking at the Minnesota Rocker Home Series uh, bracket currently, and let's just get it going. Alright, so FaZe versus Surge. So, as good as I want Surge to or as much as I want search to perform good, they have not recently. So I'm gonna have to give that to the boys over at Easy AF with the uh, 3-0, unfortunately. Rip search. Are you up next up? Rocker Empire. Now this could be a very good series. I feel like this could definitely go either way. Empire has looked like one of the strongest, if not the strongest team in the league on paper so far. Or not on paper, on um, the performance so far. But Rocker has been up there all season as well. A top contender competing for these are in these semifinals and final scenarios. But in this scenario, I'm going to have to give it to the boys over at Empire, and I will give it to them with a quick 3 1. All right, next up from the round one bracket, we have Gorillas and Ultra. So these are two of the lowest performing teams in the league so far. Gorillas did actually perform a pretty good last event, and they started looking better. Ultra, on the other hand, she had to look good this year. So I'm gonna go out here right now and I'm gonna say 3-1 for the Los Angeles Gorillas. Huntsman Mutant Years, here we go boys. The Huntsman Road to the Finals begins here. Me, Huntsman Boy over here, but Mutant Years have looked solid all season, of course. They have a finals win and appearance and Huntsman, of course, have two finals and are coming off the most recent finals win. So I think this is gonna be a good series. It's just shaping up. This is just looking like it's going to be a good event in general, to be honest with you, but I think I'm going to have to give this one with a 3-1 to the Huntsman, and I say this only because Huntsman are coming off a finals win, and it's still a very strong team, plus I think they might get some help with having Prestini on the team being able to counter Florida more effectively. And we're just going to have to see how Florida performs. Alright, and now here we are in the knockout portion of the bracket. Here we sit. We sit with the Seattle Surge versus the Minnesota Rocker. As I was saying before, Surge have not really looked good all year. Unfortunate for them. But that's just how it be sometimes. So I will be having to give this one to the Minnesota Rocker. 3-1. to one. As they've been looking like a strong team all season long. And... I think it should be an easy win for them. All right, next up in the knockout round one, we have the Toronto Ultra facing the Florida Mutineers here. What do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to have to go with Florida. Toronto has not been looking that good all year, and Florida, once again, has a finals win, so I will be happy to go with them. I will give Toronto a map, though, and I will play at 3-1. Next up, we have the quarterfinals, starting with FaZe Empire. What a matchup we have here, ladies and gentlemen. FaZe Empire, this would be an interesting matchup. Could easily go 3-0 both ways, 3-1 both ways, or 3-2 both ways. All the maps are probably going to be close. It's going to be a really good series. This is the hardest one to call. These are debatably the two top teams in the game. I would say Empire, FaZe, and Huntsman are what you're currently looking at to fill those top three spots. And it's a kind of just a battle for the second place spot here. Huntsman is currently up there, but I'd say FaZe is most likely going to end up with that top spot. This is a tough series to call, but I'm going to have to call it 3-2 in terms of FaZe here. I think we're looking at a very close series here, but FaZe will be able to pull it out. Easy AF Atlanta FaZe. And now here we sit, quarterfinal matchup number two. The Los Angeles Gorillas versus the Chicago Huntsman. LAG, like I said, they've been looking better recently, but Huntsman, they've been looking really good with this new roster. I think they're looking really, really good and should stick solid through this matchup, which is why I will have to be awarding this matchup as 3-1 to the Chicago Huntsman. 
All right, guys, knockout round two. And now here we say Dallas Empire versus Minnesota Rocker. Another series here that could very easily go any way you look at it, really. This is going to be close. This is a hard one to call here. I think I'm going to have to go with Minnesota on this one, which may upset some people if you base it on performance. But it is the Minnesota home series. Minnesota is still looking for that first finals win. And this could be the one for sure. So I'm going to have to go here with this one. 3-2 to the Minnesota Rocker and have them appearing in the semifinals. And the last matchup of the knockout round here, here we sit with the Los Angeles Girls versus the Florida Mutineers. This one should definitely be going into the hands of the Florida Mutineers. I think LAG is looking better. If they continue to look better, LAG could surprise you once again. But if we base it on consistency and performance, this one definitely be going into the hands of the Florida Mutineers, which is why I choose to award them this series. 3-2-1. Here we sit. This is the semifinals you currently look at. You look at Atlanta Fays, the Florida Mutineers, Chicago Huntsman, and Minnesota Rock. They're all fighting for the finals win. This is where it gets really tough to call. Atlanta Fays versus Florida. The easier one of the two to call. Florida could very easily come out though and perform against Fays. Florida has shown that they can indeed win a finals and they could easily take on the best teams in the game. I'm going to have to give this to the boys over at Fays once again. But I do think Florida will put up a fight against them, which is why I will have to give it to them. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. And the tougher match to call of the two, if you ask me, Chicago Huntsman versus Minnesota Rocker. This is the one right here, guys. This Rocker's path here. It's they got to beat Dallas and Chicago if they want to make it to the ship in this bracket. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy for them. And this is going to be a very tough series for both teams, if you ask me. Once again, Minnesota with the home series advantage and the not having a finals win yet, both coming through. They're going to be playing like they want this for their lives. Huntsman coming off a finals win, also going to be coming in as a huge threat. I think this is going to be a very, very good series. But I'm going to have to go with my boys over here, the Chicago Huntsman, in a very close series here, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be going 3 2 with the Chicago Huntsman. Minnesota, you had a great run in this tournament, and you're, you're, you're so close, you just can't quite get there. And this is where we finally sit, ladies and gentlemen. With this bracket currently, the way this lined up, we will finally get that phase Huntsman final that we've all wanted to see pretty much all season long. I know we've wanted to see it, this could be the time to see it if my bracket stays true. I could see a lot of places where this could get altered, of course, as I've been saying. Dallas Empire is a huge threat in this. Florida is a huge threat in this, and LAG has been playing good as of recently. So if any of those teams could easily come up and just start proving me wrong, basically. But this is the one right here. This is the one. How do how do you call this right here? Both teams are looking strongly, or both teams have strong cases for us why they're good teams. The new Huntsman roster is looking very good. The Phase roster has been established for a while with two finals, and the new Huntsman roster is now with two finals. And a brand new roster. I think I'm going to have to give it to the phase boys as much as I do not want to. I think that just having an established roster like that, they'll be able to show up for Chicago Huntsman. But I think it will be a very, very close series here. And I think it will be going map five. I, I'm, I'm hesitant. Like, I want to put it at map four. But I don't know. I don't, I'm going to have to do it at four. I think the. Atlanta face boys, the team's just too strong. And we're looking at a new Huntsman team here. So this is what we're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, for your final Minnesota Rocker home series bracket builder breakdown presented by the great CIA. Alright guys, that would be pretty much it for the video here today. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down below. I would love to debate this more because like I said, I could see this bracket playing out tons of different ways here. This is just my current prediction. I just made this up for the video. I mean, it was an educated opinion, but I didn't take too much time within this prediction. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys saw below, and leave a like if you enjoyed, and would like to see these for the upcoming events. All right, but until next time, congrats to FaZe, at least in my book. And until next time, may it be CIA or Chris. Peace.